Hi everyone, it's me, Wake Up America. I am in Saginaw, Michigan today. They're having an event out in the parking lot by a strip mall. And I'm here today again with my daughter. But my cameraman is in school, so I'm trying to do this solo. This is gonna be really interesting, trying to push her and record at the same time. I'm gonna do the best I can. Um, it's about uh, at least 45 minutes before the event is supposed to start. Right now, looks like people are starting to trickle in. So they got a place set up there. And I did see a car pull in. It looks like they're from some kind of news. News vehicle. I don't know what they call them. But there's an Uncle Sam there in costume. If there are things going on. So I'll just keep walking around and recording what okay, I can. I just heard somebody that drove by y'all. That's Trump. So it looks like we're Somebody got triggered. I didn't catch it on camera, but I heard it. Hey, shouldn't be swearing in front of my girl here. Come on. Ooh, sorry, you can tell I put flags on her, but they're kind of flopping in her face. Oops. Look over here. Ooh. <laughs> Wait till we get a sign. I finally did what I said in the last video. I put, uh, I break the cue on my back. I'm not sure, so I can get an eye full of that. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah. This is going to be really awkward. I meant to grab that before I left, but I... I'm just going to try to use my tripod. Oh, it's It's a really special night. Of course, our president is going to accept the nomination and speak. So we thought we'd do just a little celebrating and everybody's kind of ready to bust out, aren't we? And um, are we tired of the Democrats gloom and doom? Yeah. I'm Deborah L, if you don't already know who I am. And um, I run the office that's down next to Coop, Coop's gym. And so we have lots of flags and hats and all American-made things down there. If you'd like to purchase something, actually it's a donation. We are a nonprofit grassroots group that we're all volunteers. So uh, it's right next to Coops. Just head down there. We're open until uh, we're done here. So I wanted to mention a couple things. We have hot dogs. Make sure you go over here and grab some food. Everything is complimentary. We do have a donation jar if you did want to make a donation over next to the popcorn. Popcorn is free. Also, we have there's some cookies, there's water. We're, we're doing this as a service to you, fellow Trump supporters. And just let you know that we're here to serve you, okay? We're here, we need all hands on deck the next, what is it, 63 days? So we thought it would be fun, since this is convention week, to um, talk a little bit about what 2016 convention, the, a real physical convention looks like. Amy Carl, this is Amy Carl. Hello. Amy Carl and I attend, in, attended as a Trump national delegate in Cleveland, Ohio in 2016. And we wore our fancy shirts, let's turn around. <laughs> So when you watch it on TV and you looked at the Michigan delegation, we were in there somewhere, and we got to actually, you know, actually vote for 
for Donald J. Trump on the floor, so it was a wonderful, awesome experience. Of course, this year I was an alternate. Um, of course, things are so different this year, we really weren't going anywhere. Um, so we're very thankful for that experience. And um, Amy's going to share a little bit about what she remembers of the convention in 2016. Well, mostly it was just excitement on end. It just never, I mean, you turn around and, you know, there's Sheriff Joe from Arizona. I mean, it's just full of um, interesting people and nonstop action. They rolled out the red carpet for us. And, you know, it would, we saw, we went to a Kid Rock concert that was complimentary, part of our uh, event, and it just, you know, you couldn't ask for anything better. I mean, it was just, it was outstanding and so exciting. And, uh, of course, you know, the speakers didn't disappoint, just like this year. You know, speakers don't disappoint, and the excitement, you can't even describe that on the floor. Just can't. But, um... Yeah, if you get a chance to go, you have to go. But I don't know if it'll be a live event again. But hopefully it will be. But yeah, great, great time, great memories. Yep, we had a blast. <laughs> well, if you have any questions about convention, we would love to share. It's, it's so fun to go back and think about that experience. And um, we just can't wait for tonight for our president to um, accept that nomination for re-election. And uh, I feel the energy in the office. We know that to win Michigan, you've got to also get those Democrat crossover votes again. So everybody is welcome under this tent. Um, we know that the Democrats have really left. The party has left many JFK Democrats or common sense patriotic Democrats. So uh, we welcome you in. And if you have any questions, just ask. Um, like I said, we have hot dogs, popcorn. We are doing a drawing also. If, make sure you get a red ticket. We're going to give away some Trump merchandise and yard signs. If you didn't bring a sign to wave and you would just like to borrow one from the office, we brought some down. They're in that box. Um, we also have um, some flags that you can borrow. They are actually for a donation for the office. Have a really good time. We're going to start right now. A few minutes. I would like to introduce a couple of candidates that are are running. Remember, Trump needs more Republicans. So even though we're focused on Trump tonight, we want you to make sure you vote all the way down that ticket. So we're trying to get rid of those Democrats like Kildee, right? Well, we have a wonderful Republican, Tim Kelly, who is running for the fifth district for U.S. U.S. Um, Senate. Congress, and he's going to speak. I'd like to introduce him, and then we'll introduce someone that's running for sheriff. Thank you, Deb. Whoa. Stand right here. Back, back. All right. Thank you, and welcome, Patriots. Isn't this a great day to be doing this? Waving these flags. I've been out. This is the second time I've been out here on, the, on Bay Road doing this, and I'll tell you, it's fantastic the amount of support that you get. And don't be surprised at all the honks you get. You might get a couple other kind of gestures as well, but I can tell you a majority of them will be uh, will be positive. Also, it's, it occurs to me, women are supposed to be against Trump. Look at all the women out here. Look at all the women in support. It's fantastic. So again. Everything you read isn't what you isn't the truth, right? I mean, this is uh, look. I got into this race earlier in this year to vanquish 43 years of one family, one party rule in the Kildee family. 43 years, one party, one family. But lately, I'm in this race to rescue America. This is about this is about helping Donald Trump get this uh, country back on track and away from the socialist slide uh, that we're seeing too much of. So I, as, as Deb pointed out, in order for me to win, look, I'm under no delusions that this is a tough race for a Republican in the 5th District. After 43 years, though, I think it's clearly time for a change and enough people clearly, hopefully, will be fed up. But you need to vote straight ticket Republican this year. Across the board, it's got to be Kelly James, or Trump James Kelly and your state representative. It's just an easy thing, just do straight ticket, one mark, get out of the booth, you're done. So that's that's what we're gonna need. I, we can't afford any kind of fall off. I'm a former state representative, rep, uh, represented uh, 
district right where you're in from 13 to 18. Uh, worked on a lot of education issues. Looking to do the same to help uh, Donald Trump. School choice is a, is a uh, clearly an issue that I think would remedy an awful lot of our uh, social ills. If you want to talk about income disparity, if you want to talk about that kind of thing, give a kid an education that fits his needs, and I can tell you he's going to prosper and succeed as an American citizen. So again, thank you again for coming out here. Uh, we've got uh, a lot of work to do in the next 63 days. These are the kinds of events. Watch tonight again. Look at the, the stark difference that you see between last week and this week in the, in the uh, conventions is just off the charts. Last week it was dark, gloomy, pessimistic. This week it's upbeat, positive. Everything is, uh, uh, is and the speakers, the production, everything has been just absolutely wonderful. And you're going to see the, the coup de grace tonight with uh, the president giving his acceptance speech, which I think he'll probably he'll clearly be one of his best that he's ever made. So again, uh, who else are we going to have? Are we going to hear from Rick? All right. Thank you very much. November 3rd, Tim Kelly for Congress. Thank you. Okay, remember, all the way down the ticket red. Don't stop. There's someone else that's running. <laughs> that's running for it. You may not have heard, but there is someone running on the Republican ticket for Saginaw County Sheriff. His name is Rick Rebelschlieger. I think I'm close on that one. And I would like to introduce you to Rick. Thank you, Debbie. We all owe a lot of our thanks. We have to thank Debbie because she's one of the spark plugs for this county and the surrounding counties. If it wouldn't have been for her, we, there's a lot of things that wouldn't be happening. But as a resident of Saginaw County, people have a choice. You can watch what's happening and you can get more of it or you can get part of the change. I've been a Trump supporter since before he was president and he's the right medicine at the right time. And every 30 or 40 years, this country does something right, and President Trump was the right part. If any of you Saginaw County residents want to discuss anything, feel free to call me at my home phone. And I'll answer any questions at any time. Thank you. Okay, next I want to introduce someone that is, was born in Cuba, she lives in Oakland County, but she knows exactly firsthand, not, well we do now after what we've been going through with the shutdown, but she knows what socialism really is about and she has a real passion for President Trump and um, her name is Macy Worsing. Hello, okay. Hello, everybody. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Um, I am Cuban. I was born in Cuba. At the age of four and a half, that's when I came with my parents and my younger sister. I also want to share with you that you really need to understand this chapter that we're in. This is a spiritual war, and you need to take it very seriously. When we came here, we came here with absolutely nothing. When Castro took over, and I want you to be thinking about Rashida Tlaib, Omar, and Pelosi, and what's going on. This is very dangerous, and what they do is they will take your democracy, they will take all the small businesses, they will not know how to run this country. And that, when you think about Cuba and Venezuela, just like the United States, it was at the highest peak, their economy and their GDP, and it was destroyed. And this is what we're up against. And we need to be aware of it. They are extremely organized. I live in Oakland County, we are seeing it. In Wayne County, Oakland County, Oakland County used to be mostly all Republican. Now it's about 60% Democrat. 
they are taking over the commissioners. We had um, Bouchard, uh, I'm sorry, Brooke Patterson. He was an, an amazing executive county commissioner. He brought in so many companies from out of the country that are here in Oakland County. Now we have two liberal co commissioners that are running against our Republican candidate. They gave $500,000 to Planned Parenthood in March. They gave $60,000 to um, the Women's Suffrage Program. We already got our vote, our right to vote 100 years ago. They are spending money like drunken sailors. But what happened in this last primary, all the Democrats came out. I know that they are extremely organized. I am convinced Whitmer, Nestle, they're all in this together. Once you lose your country, this is it. Then they go after the children, your religion. They closed up all the Catholic schools in Cuba, Venezuela, and this, and be careful with the indoctrination. You really need to know. Myself, I am a retired public school teacher from Birmingham. The last five years, the curriculum is changing dramatically in the science, health, and social studies. When they put on the national anthem, um, what what's going on now, they put at the beginning, if you do not feel comfortable standing up, you do not have to. So you need to be aware of that. And stay close to God, get behind Tim Kelly, John James, and get everyone to vote. 24% of the Christians did not vote in this last election. And you really need to reach out to everybody. Your second amendment is so important. We live next, next to the English embassy. My father went to law school with Castro. Castro was a thug. His soldiers came in our home several times and would shoot at the English embassy from our dining room window. They did inventory of our entire home, told my mom three times, if anything is missing, you will not be able to fly out of here. My aunt and uncle had a beautiful farm. They came with their machine guns. They told my aunt and uncle they had 30 minutes to get off their farmland. When I think of the farmland in this area, Rashida Tlaib, Omar, AOC, Pelosi, Kamala Harris, Biden, they don't know how to run farms or small businesses. Pray and get fired up. Yeah. Thanks, Macy. One of the most important things that we do here as a grassroots group is the ground game, the old-fashioned ground game. In 2016, we had an office about four doors down from where we are now. Uh, completely uh, no money to work with, all volunteer help, and we won Saginaw County in 2016 by 1.3% because of the grassroots efforts. So one of those important pieces is to go out and knock on doors. You can't stay in an office and win an election and get the word out. So every Saturday we go out and we're doing over 200, knocking on over 200 doors every week. We could use your help and do 300 this Saturday. We have about 10 Saturdays left to do this, people. Let's win Saginaw County in a bigger way. So we invite you to come down to our office on Saturday and door knock with us. We have drivers, we have bags packed. All you have to do is put them on the, on the door handles and we have people that will drive you around. So if you have any questions, just you can see me. I have someone here today that is kind of like king of the door knockers. He's done this, uh, when did you start, Ken? President Washington, right, right. So the, Ken Mattiao is from Oakland County, and he's going to talk a little bit about how to reach out to people. Some of you are a little bit shy about doing that, and he's gonna help us out with that. And just before I'm done, I just wanna remind you again about our office is down there right next to Coop's Gym. Have you heard what's happening at Coop's? There, Coop's Gym is now kind of like, um, uh, the Owasso Barber. Whitmer has has not reopened the gyms yet, remember? Uh, yeah. They opened about a month ago and they are getting all kinds of fines, uh, they're being hassled, um, all kinds of persecution. 
infringing on their freedoms. And they're actually growing in their membership. That parking lot is full all the time. So you might want to take a moment after you leave our office and go over there and just say, thumbs up, thank you for what you're doing, hang in there against our governor. The other thing is we have petitions against the governor. If you haven't signed the restore petition or the unlock petition, which is going to remove that 1945 law that's still on the books that gives her unlimited power, allows her to go past the legislature and do what she's doing. So make sure if you haven't signed it before you leave that you sign that, okay? I'm going to have uh, hang it up for Ken. Thank you. I just want to ask you a couple of uh, questions here. My boss, Jack Brandenburg, was a state senator. How did he become the first elected Republican to win the city of St. Clair Shores since 1942? How did a lady named Martina Ward become the first elected Republican to win a seat in the Pennsylvania legislature right in the heart of Philadelphia County the first Republican in 25 years. And the final question, I want you to think about this. How did the apostles and St. Paul spread the message of Christianity throughout Asia Minor, throughout the Middle East, without telephones, without printing press, without without any mass means of communication whatsoever, how did they spread the word? They knocked a lot of doors and they wore out a lot of sandals. That's the way we do it. And we've been uncovering some great information in the process of doing our door knocking. In fact, during this process, we have put together, Deborah and I have put together a great piece that we are using for our literature handout that hits all the red meat issues that we have to reach in order to get the swing voters. And we are very successful out there. And I have to tell you that among the biggest supporters that we're hitting when we hit the streets are coming from African Americans. They get it. We'd like you to join us this Saturday. In fact, I hope to meet every single one of you before you meet here, before we leave here. I'd like to personally invite you to come and join us this Saturday at 9.30. For, us, for our door knocking session, we're going to have fun, we're going to break up into teams, and those of you who have never done it before, you'll have the advantage of going out with some real pros. Hopefully some of you will luck out and uh, be able to go out with me, because I'm, I'm not shy about this, I'm very good. And every one of you can do what I do, trust me. So please come this Saturday, 9.30, and you will have the time of your life. You can take that to the bank. Thank you very much. Okay, we're going to wrap it up and we'll start some music up for you, but I want to mention a couple things. We have a few handouts over here that are very important. One of them is, we call it our, I got a hair in my mouth, just a minute. We call it our flip card. It looks like this. It's on cardstock. The colored side is President Trump on the, all the main issues and his stance on those issues. If you flip it over, this is Biden on all the same issues and where he stands. This is what we hand out for door knocking. You can grab some of those. We got a pile of them. Take them around your own neighborhood. Keep some in your car. Always, always hand those out. They're an easy thing that people usually will not throw away. They're just a quick read, so help yourself to those. One more important handout that we do, and we give it out for door knocking. The 23 things that you should know about the new 2020 Democrat Party platform, the most radical platform in United States American politics. It's a quick read, front back, 23 things that nobody really knows what's in their new Democrat Party platform. So no matter what Biden says or you hear on the news, they don't talk about these radical things. But when if he wins, not only will China win, but all these things will happen. So get, make sure you get educated on these things. You can either make copies of this and hand them out or learn them and speak them because people do not know what's in their platform. Just two more quick things. We are having another big event on the main street of Frankenmuth on Sunday, 
September 13th, supporting our police. It's called MAGA Back the Blue Car and Biker Cruise. They canceled Autofest this year, but we're coming in instead. And we will be at Roush Realty and Weiss Equipment with the unit, Trump Unity Bridge and lots of other surprises and speakers. And there will be a classic car cruise down Main Street. You're welcome to decorate your own car and join us. Make sure you don't miss that. There are handouts on the table about that. It starts at noon. I will. I will. The people that are on the fence. Yeah. Um, I'm going to let Tommy start now, and he's going to play some of his awesome music. Make sure you look over here. He's got a little table with his awesome CDs. You might want to consider getting one and supporting him. Um, yeah. If you pro you've heard of Linda Lee and Frankenmuth? at the Bavarian Inn. Linda Lee, Linda Lee is right here with her husband and um, he plays with Linda Lee, so he's good, okay? Thank you all again so much for coming. Um, everybody just have a good time and get those flags out there. Let's show Saginaw what we think about our president. And I want you to buy my disc political parties, ladies and gentlemen. For ten dollars, one dollar goes to back the blue. It's got friends, don't let friends vote Hillary. You're from where? Patriot Soapbox. It's a YouTube channel. Oh, it is? Yeah, it runs 24-7. It's new. And, um, I think our Air Force is the Army and Navy. For the Space Force, and that is on my CD, she, Political Parties, which you can pick up for $10, and a dollar goes to back the blue. And, um, you know, for example, we're all God's children, mm -hmm. and that's what's so important. We all have the same color blood. And But I'll tell you, Linda Lee, I have some beautiful African-American women that are Christian. They're behind Trump because of the fact this is... Trump is not racist, but if we, if we can... What was her name again? Linda Lee Tanner. Okay. Oh my God. She is, she was a Republican. Uh, let me get her name here again. She is amazing. She's written a couple books for me. I might have. I might be following her on Twitter. I don't on Facebook or that? I bet you I'm following her on Twitter. I'll double check that. I, I, how, did, how did you get involved? What made you decide to get involved in what you're doing? Okay, um, well, yeah, what uh, got me involved was actually QAnon. Um, these posts started appearing on um, these public forums on the internet, and that's what got me interested in asking questions yeah. that I hadn't thought about. And it was slowly over time I realized that there's a lot more going on than, than meets the eye They're through Q. And then, uh, so now i uh, helping out the Patriot Soul Box is about Q too, but we do other stuff too, because there's something for everyone. Yeah. So then, um, oh gosh, here, here's a picture of her. She is such a Christian woman. Mm -hmm. And and then, um, right there she is. I don't know if you could see her. Yeah, I think I could see her. But she is amazing. Amazing. So then it's Q and what? Oh, it's a, it's a Q and on. And the Q is a... Question and response. Yeah, it's... Well, what we believe it is a group of people, um, three of which are non-military, the rest are military, that is disseminating information through the Q posts to the public. 
The thing is, it's not always straightforward. You got to, because of the national security laws, they can't just come out and say things. Yeah. So we got to kind of, you know, look at that. Like, we learned all about Jeffrey Epstein, his pedo island. Oh. Um, we learned I all about Gizli Maxwell over almost a year before he was arrested. So we knew he was going to be arrested. It wasn't a question of if, it was when. So when it came up on the TV, I was like, oh, okay, finally they got him. So they waiting on so a lot of times we're way ahead of the mainstream media. Oh my gosh. And then, I have to tell you, another reason I got involved, I can take a picture. Oh, we have, oh my, my phone is so full of pictures that I can't take pictures anymore. Yeah. Um, I'm going to try. Oh, I that, that, That's my daughter. Your daughter is talking to her. Yeah, uh, she's not nervous. But she does understand what people are saying. Yeah. I was talking to her. So she, on, did you read the sign on her side? It says, um, I roll for Trump. No, right here. It says, I roll for Now my back says, I roll for Q. Oh my God. Yeah, that's Sure, sure. Take, take a couple. Take as many as you want. I like poll challengers and poll watchers they're watching the elections because some of these people that they get in there now they, they get people in there that don't care about following all these rules we have a lot of rules that to follow to protect people's right to vote and this is like giving people the wrong balance letting people look at the process of a ballot instead of putting them in a group you know you're supposed to protect people's 
bolts that says just let one let see one. And just, so stuff like that, if you don't get good people in as local clerks, the local clerk position is such an important position. You want detail-oriented people that are going to follow the rules. So that's been kind of my experience. I've been there for eight years. There's a lot of stuff. So those local, these local board is so important. So. You don't have to pay attention to everything. Now, Absolutely, they gave 300 incorrect ballots out in the, in the March election. So, like, I'm trying to find people that want that, that are conservative. I'm going to do something about it. We're 24-7 live stream on YouTube with, for um, okay, real news. Drawings, in case you're interested in checking us out, We've got it's a 24-7 live stream on YouTube. We're just uh, citizen journalists trying to put the real news out, going around the mainstream media. It's good up too. Oh, Thank you. Yeah. Patriot Soapbox, we're 24 7 live stream on YouTube. For real news, all big skew, we're just amateurs trying to put the truth out. Thank you. Okay, and that's for. Yeah, they're lost. They don't get. 
Yeah, it's a... Uh...